Today is your introduction to breath work. So for some of you, this might be the very first time that you've even brought awareness into your breath. Really, breath work is the practice of having control of the breath, but truly it's this piece of you telling your nervous system, I'm okay. And so the more that we can tap into our breath, that we can come back to that present moment, that we can really get control of that nervous system, the more that we allow our body to heal, our body to transform, and all of our being to just feel okay. And so in today's practice, you're gonna be learning a breathwork technique that you can do anytime. The two key reasons why you might be doing this would be number one, you're in a stressful situation and you're gonna come back to breath work so that you're able to release from that stressful situation and be able to move through it without your body saying, oh my God, I'm being chased by a lion in that stress response, that fight or flight, that sympathetic nervous system where really your entire body can't do anything other than just keep you alive. And so in those stressful situations, you'll be able to use this wellness practice just as a way to connect to the breath. The other way that you might be able to use this is when you're trying to transform your body. You want to release those extra pounds. You want to see change, but your body just isn't moving. So much of that is because we aren't stimulating that rest and digest system, that parasympathetic nervous system. And when that's not stimulated enough, your body cannot digest, recover, rest to its full capacity. So for those that are trying to go through their transformation journey and you feel stuck, this is a great tool that'll have lots of clients come back to often so that you're able to really go into rest and digest as often as possible. So step number one, you're gonna place your hand onto your heart. The other place you're gonna put your hand is going to be onto your stomach. And the reason why we do this is because we wanna make sure that whenever we're breathing, that we're bringing the breath into the belly, into the diaphragm, bringing it down to those root chakras instead of being in the chest. So as we're inhaling, we're gonna be filling up that balloon, pressing and fully expanding that stomach outwards. We're gonna do that for a count of four, with a nice deep inhale. When we get to the top of the breath, we're gonna do what's called a breath hold. And what we're doing is we're gonna hold it there for eight seconds, building resiliency, building the power to push through difficult situations and seeing that you're a-okay and then as we fully exhale we're gonna br bring the navel into the spine and we're gonna blow out a candle for a nice deep count of eight it's gonna look like this filling all the way up and then we're holding at the top for one two three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And letting go for <sighs> exhaling all of that air until your belly draws all the way in. We'll do it two more times. So nice deep inhale, expanding that diaphragm. One, two, three, four. Holding it here for eight full seconds. Being fully present in your body. Embracing your ability to breathe, to be here in this moment. Let it all out. I'll do it one more time. Again, full expansion, pressing as much as you can all the way into those deep chakras, into that diaphragm, holding at the top. Eight. 
Taking notice of what you smell, perhaps what you hear. And if you feel ready, you may even be ready for more than eight seconds. And for some of you, eight will just be enough. And let it all out. So for this week, our invitation is that you give this a try, at least once. The next time your kids are driving you crazy and you just want to scream, I invite you to take a moment and take two or three of those deep breaths before you react. Or maybe you had an irritating thing that happened at work and you don't want to bring that energy home to your family. Do it in the car so that you're coming back into your home, grounded, okay, and ready for whatever is on the other side of the door.